Kush is, even though I have not been to India, spiritually I feel a connection to India. And spiritually I've found myself saying I miss India. So all that to say, when I, hear, when I heard Indian music back then in San Francisco, it propelled me to do something I hadn't done before because I was in that open space and that quiet space. So I was able to honor it. So Kush was born out of hearing music from an uh, Indian man who is a DJ in London. I read an article about him when I had to buy his music and he inspired a whole bunch of stuff. And to me that's very working for me. So I honor that Kush was born and I had never done any choreography like that. So I'm grateful for the trust that I had in myself when I felt that shift to make my company Norman, to leave New York, even though I had humongous classes, to sell my apartment. And I just literally let go of everything. And to me, that's guidance because to let go of everything means that you're welcoming a new and so I went through that process, but I couldn't put it into words at that time. Now I can talk about it. And um, I feel extremely blessed. So I'm functioning from a pretty solid place at this point, um, with a clear sense of commitment and a clear sense of freedom, so that I can be really honest with myself. Well, that's, that's the, we said the most important word, honest. Yeah. Because uh, as a choreographer, if you're not honest with the movement, then the, then the transition between the dancers and the audience, it's, it won't be there. Exactly, exactly. So it's been a lot of honesty and it continues to get stronger. That's how I teach. That's how I conduct my rehearsals. Um, and in part, what I share with my dancers is not just about the movement, but there's the inevitable life conversation.